video demonstration of how to use Notepad++ to create a very simple HTML file. Notepad++ is a free text editor that you can download off the web and it has many useful features for when you are creating a website. So, first things first, when you first open it, it will look like this. There'll be a file open, there'll be a document open called changelog. You can do things to documents like most word processors by clicking on the file menu and seeing the different options that are available to you. You can start a new document, you can open an existing document, you can close the uh, document that you're currently working on. Um, you can save the document, which is not an option right now, um, but will be once you create something new. So the first thing we're going to do is close. You can do that by clicking on the menu item or by using the keyboard shortcut Control w Now, we want to create a new document. This is going to be the main page on your USC Upstate student web space. So, don't be confused, don't worry about whether or not you understand the um, HTML that I'm creating. I just want to show you some features. The first tags that you use when you create an HTML document, and this is not necessarily um, valid HTML, I just, I'm just showing you the basics. The first tags, you start with open HTML, and then forward slash means close HTML. Now, notice that here on the left, you've got these numbers. Uh, what Notepad++ it does is number the lines of anything that you're working on, which can be a very useful solution when you're trying to troubleshoot. Next, we've got the head of our document and the body of our document. All right. Now, because I don't want to lose this document in case anything goes wrong, I'm going to save it. Um, find a place to save it, my documents, uh, and we'll call it index.html. Now, you don't have to save it in my documents. You can save it you know, wherever you usually save your documents to some place where you're not going to lose it and where you're going to be able to use it again. All right, inside the head of our document, we want to give it a title. So this is going to be my home page, so I'm going to put my name there. There we go. Um, inside the body, and again, this is a ridiculously simple, keep, I'm a ridiculously simple web page. Typing too fast. Now, um, file, save, and you could use keyboard shortcuts to do that. Notice a few things here. Um, when you're using HTML, if you open a tag like HTML here, you need to close it. What Notepad++ does is highlight where the start and finish of your tags are. So if I click on the opening HTML tag, it's going to turn it purple, and it's going to show me the corresponding closing tag. If that closing tag isn't there, if I've made a mistake and I've excluded that tag, if I click on HTML, there's no close. That shows me I've got a problem. And I'll know I better close that HTML tag. And you see how there's this line where it will direct your attention specifically to where that is. That can be a very useful feature. Now, notice this box right here in the upper left. If I click on that, it collapses everything contained within that particular tag. That will also work with the head tag. So if you want to focus on the body, if you've got a ton of stuff in the head and you want to focus on the body, you just collapse that and it turns into a plus sign. Cl click on the plus sign and it opens it up again. Similarly, that will work here. Why does it not work for the H1 tag or for the title tag? The answer is simple. It's because these are all on one line. If, and I don't recommend you do this, but if this were to be two lines, See, where title is on line 4 and close title is on line 5, suddenly we're able to collapse it if we want to. But you don't always need to have the opening and closing tags on two different lines. That, in a nutshell, is, for now, what I want you to know about how to use Notepad++. If you've got any questions, be sure to let me know.